Hi, my name is Sarah Campbell, and I am the resident pro for piano here at Musical U. And this resource pack is all about syncopation. <laughs> and here's what you're going to learn in this resource pack. I've got a bunch of goodies for you, including I'm going to show you a little bit about that improv that I just did at the very beginning. I'm going to show you how to get started on that. Here's what we're going to go over today. No syncopation in that. It's really straightforward. Now if I change, if I shift my second chord, that G minor, to the second upbeat, so the and of two, it gives it a totally different feel because we get a nice syncopation here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Totally different sound because I shifted on, on a different um, beat. I shifted on an upbeat so it doesn't have that like straight forward one and three kind of feeling. If you're interested in notating a piece of music, whether it's your own composition or if you're transcribing a solo that you heard somebody play, you need to make sure that the syncopation is easy to read. So I have an example that I have put in the PDF for you, and I'm gonna pop it up here on the screen, and it shows two different ways that somebody has written down a syncopated rhythm. One of them is much easier to read than the other, so let's take a look at this. 